The Morris Minor pedals are unusual compared to modern cars because they don't hang down from a pedal box on the firewall, but instead they pivot on bushings set into the chassis rail. The video you see now was shot a few years ago when I was trying to get the pedals out. It can be tricky and can require some force to knock the shaft through the bushes. The clutch pedal has a shaft attached and it's this shaft that goes through the chassis rail, which is number 25 on this diagram. The brake pedal fits on this shaft uh, next to a spacer. The spacer is 27 there in the diagram. There are two bushes in the chassis rail and two bushes in the brake pedal. All four bushes are identical and can be replaced fairly easily. Okay, the pedals have been removed. shaft doesn't look too bad. A little bit of emery cloth. I'm going to clean up both pedals, de-rust them and paint them. And uh, the area around them is not too bad. So here are the Morris Minor pedals. These are the original pedals I've taken off and cleaned up uh, a few years ago. This is the the clutch pedal uh, and this is the brake pedal. Now the clutch pedal has this, this metal shaft here which goes through uh, two bearings in the chassis rail. You can see there is some wear along this shaft. You know it's 50 or 60 years old so I guess that's expected. I'm not sure if that wear is critical. Um, probably if I just grease this, put it all back together um, in the car it will probably work just fine. But uh, Ken and I, my father-in-law and I, have, a, have an idea, um, mostly his idea actually, that um, maybe we'll try and put a grease fitting in here so that we can service the thing. Because once it's in situ, um, the most you can do is probably just oil, uh, assuming you can get an oil can in there, um, you know, the bearings as best you can. So the way it operates is this sits uh, in the chassis rail. Let's see, I'm trying to point this at the camera correctly. This sits in the chassis rail. Uh, there is a spacer which goes on the shaft here. And then the brake pedal goes in there. Here we are. So you can imagine the chassis rail is here and here. Let's, let's get that separated. Here and here. That's the chassis rail. Um, and uh, at the end of this clutch shaft, this piece goes on. Whoops, there we are. This piece goes on. And this is what actually operates the, the clutch mechanical linkage. So let me turn it around that way, maybe that's a bit easier. So you can see as the, as the clutch pedal is operated, it pushes that uh, kind of metal tang here, and that operates the clutch mechanical linkage. Now there are some bearings that you can actually buy, or I shouldn't say bearing, I should say bush. This is the bush, um, which fits I think this is universal, you can only buy one from, from ESM. I think it fits inside the brake pedal here, there's two of them. And actually there is a space between the two bushes where in theory you could put grease. I did think about putting a Zerk fitting in here and I know other people have done that. That is still an option potentially. So that's on the brake pedal. And then the, in the, within the chassis rail there are, there are these two uh, bushes as well. Oh, and the other thing is, I think on, on the clutch pedal, the earlier clutch pedals had the actual uh, face of the pedal, uh, you know, welded on. But I think later cars have this uh, bolt-on attachment for the pedal right there. The other thing is that the clutch pedal has this small... Uh, kind of rubberized pad which fits um, on the underside of the car fits over the pedal right here and as the the pedal is operated it stops this metal plate banging into the underside of the car so it's kind of softens the blow as it were and then finally this um, this piece of metal which attaches to the clutch mechanism that's secured by this castellated nut here right there and you can put a split pin 
through. There's a hole there for a split pin. So here's the chassis rail, here's the two bushes, one here uh, and one here. I've cleaned them up a little bit, uh, but we might be replacing them, we'll see. The clutch, the clutch shaft goes here. This top part will go through the floorboard, so this will be on the other side, on the outside and under the car, this part of the pedal. Um, so you actually see only the top part of the pedal from inside the car. The brake pedal goes on here, here's the spacer first, chassis rail there. And the main part of the pedal goes on here, and it sits like that, uh, with this part in the chassis rail. And then this is the actuating mechanism for the clutch. Obviously this is a left-hand drive car, and this is pretty much uh, mirrored on the other side, of course, if it was right-hand drive, as most of you know. What you're looking for. Okay. Yep, I'm ready. That would be a good idea, Tim. That looks pretty good. Now we'll okay. just pop in the vise. In your flush. There. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, so much for that. Oh, well, that was relatively easy. But then I'm just holding the camera. What are we going to do the rest of the day? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Plant vegetables. <laughs> okay. That'll be long enough. You have a cutoff? Do you have a cutoff grinder? Okay. No, it's pulling the washer in. Is it? Needs a larger washer. Hold on. Let's see. Try not to scratch the torsion bar. So it turns out that making brake pipes is quite difficult. Here we've got a nice little bend down from the three-way connector, or four-way if you include the switch, uh, down across the front of the car. All going fairly well, till we realise that we mismeasured it. <laughs> 